Welcome to the 2022, slightly delayed, like everything this year, demo van by Van Haven. And it is an absolute honor, and I cannot tell you how proud we all are here to have this van um, built and here for people to come, touch, feel, and, um, and basically see some of the bits that our guys can, can create in the workshop here at Van Haven. She is a uh, 204 DSG two-wheel drive combi. Um, she is a panel van that's been converted to a combi van. An awful lot of work goes into these vans, guys, and I wanted to come and have the opportunity to talk you through um, what we've done and how we do it in not so much detail as when I was talking around that beautiful green van that we did, but just so you get a really good understanding of why we kind of go the extra mile all the time on each corner and what it's all about and, and what motivates us which in turn hopefully fills you guys full of passion to come and buy our vans because that's what we love doing is building vans. So we have, to, we have to sell them to be able to build them. On this particular van, we decided to go for a kind of combi sleeper um, theme based on a carbon van. Obviously the TTRC is becoming really popular and um, we have got an awful lot to build. There's no combi bed in here and there's no combi system because over the foreseeable next 10 to 12 months, I expect there's gonna be different systems coming out from different companies and we will pop those in, enjoy them, try them, figure them all out um, and pick our favorite from there. Now in the past, we've always used a 40 Winks unit, which is a really simple, very easy system for you guys to use and for us to use when we wanna go and turn our combi van into a, into a camper or day van and obviously the Avano stuff which um, Josh and his team absolutely boss and we love it and they do all kinds of awesome weird and wonderful requests for us so yeah thank you guys. Elevating roof this is a stealth roof it's a carbon roof our carbon roofs are now going to come in matte because these are a hand finished product that is uh, it's a lovely bit of kit and I will open this up show you how it all works uh, it's super easy I love the fact that it's got some big old keys, which are also bottle openers, or just, just little, little, little cool things there. And then in the van, when we have a little look in here, we've got rotating seats, um, a leisure battery, an inverter, um, and split charge and all that kind of good stuff, like USB points and extra 12 volt sockets to stick a fridge in and whatnot. Um, this van should have a center console fridge with a little wireless charging unit and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I forgot to put it in for today's video, but I promise you it's there. And if you ever come and have a look, you can see how good it is. And you can fit a good eight, sort of good eight size beers in there for camping. Um, or your packed lunch for when you're out working. In the demo van, we have gone for the Platinum Plus interior. So this is where we use the, uh, the Platinum Plus door cards and dashboard. Um, all internal optics are done, which as from my previous videos, you know is all the roof furniture. All the individual buttons are tinted. Um, we have an upgraded audio system in here, so it sounds really nice, really crisp. Um, it's not the most expensive system, but I tell you what, it's absolutely banging and it's, uh, it's a really, really nice system, um, which is ample for, 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 for pretty much everyone. If you want to go mental, we've got that K2 system that we, uh, we've installed in the, in the green van 
uh, but it's a lot of money, but it's a lot of sound as well, so it's all good. Um, triple bench in the back of this van. There are some really good pros to having a triple bench. They have ISO fix on each corner, um, so the, the, the outer seats, it folds down flat. Um, and is great for a short wheelbase to, to make a really easy combi bed. But we've also got loads of space underneath. So if you're into your boarding or your surfing or your mountain boarding or whatevs, you've got some really usable space. Carpet line in this van is our Comfort Line Plus. So that's where we've got the Dynamat in my last video. I, was, I showed you the Dodo mat, it's very heavy. Um, but what that does is it creates a really nice uh, environment. So if you're used to driving something um, like a nice saloon or a big German sports car or similar. Um, we would like to think that when you jump into here, it's going to feel really uniformed and, and kind of um, the same, which is all the plan. I'm going to put the pop top roof up. It is 32 degrees in Sean's detailing bay and he is behind you sweating clay bar in a client's van. There he is. Just while he does that, um, I'm going to get in here and just show you how easy it is to, uh, to put, pop this roof down. So um, I hope I get it right. If I do make a blooper, then um, it still needs to be there because it'll just be funny. So put this chap down. This guy here, when you're up in your roof, you put this in the opposite way, it stops your pillows um, and your children escaping, which is fantastic. Try and find the keys. The keys, they're with. Oh, what a fail. Where are my keys? Where are my pop top roof keys? Oh, hang on. I've got them. The Stealth Roof Pop Top Key, brought to you specifically by Norlam, who have kindly put your beer opening requirements on hand. Little, little twist round, Jordan. Can you, can you manage that, do you reckon? Yep, just in there, that's it, that's it, that's it. Fantastic, okay, cool. I put these in the cup holders, which is why I could never find it. So the stealth roof has got two little doodars on the back, thingy-majiggies, which are these guys here. I'll just unscrew these. Just a nice touch, right? So I love details. And this van's obviously got its TTR Platinum Plus interior. But if you didn't have a Platinum Plus interior, you've got your standard sort of moon dust grey bits. The little thingy majiggies have been finished in exactly the same colour as the factory plastics. That is just cool. It shows that they thought about it no effort to do that. When, um, when we put a pop top roof in our vans, normally you see our speakers up here, we put them there because of the sound stage, it makes a really big difference. Obviously we put, the, we put the speakers here and then the subwoofer just sits down here. So our roof is totally detached from, um, from, from, from the van itself. And what it does is it comes up and it gets to a certain level, can you see, and it stops we we'll wait for that little jack to come on the back and then it opens. And then this guy just comes up here. Uh, and obviously a pop-top roof, everyone knows what a pop-top roof is, they're awesome. But what makes this more awesome than the standard awesome pop-top roof is this is neoprene. So normally you get your tent plastics, which are a little bit like in the rain, they're a bit noisy and, and um, yeah, well it's just neoprene. So it's just really nice, fully, fully opens up there. It's really thick. Um, it's breathable, but it's not gonna, it's windproof and it's waterproof and it's got all kinds of awesome technologies that make it better than just normal canvas tents. Um, yeah, let me start talking about the outside of the van. I hope this isn't getting too boring. So this particular body kit is gloss and blended. So what does that mean? Well. When the kit comes out the autoclave, it's completely matte and, um, and then we have to refinish it. So we finish that in, we've got a 
we got quite a few different finishes. But on this one, we went for a really, really high gloss. And what we've done is we've bled the paint through the carbon and then glossed over the top of that. So we've got a really nice kind of flow that just kind of runs down the van. Uh, it's really cool. Seen loads of supercars and stuff at car shows and at Goodwood and stuff. And, uh, and thought, why not? Let's do that on our, uh, on our van. So we have, you can really see how the paint comes through and then that allows that to come and come all the way through there. Um, you'll notice again, all the weave in perfect harmony. So it all matches up uh, because we're really finicky and unnecessary pain for ourselves, but it does look cool. Um, and then the overrider, we've finished in, in satin and then obviously a carbon fiber exhaust tip again all the twill, all in line, all the time. It's a really small detail that um, allows the sun to absolutely kind of, when the sun hits them, you couldn't see on the video at the show because it was on the show and dusty and there was loads of people around, but when the sun hits it, honestly, it's just absolutely incredible. Gloss black optics throughout, and then our shadow pack. Um, shadow pack is a black chroming process. Um, we do streamer one and streamer two, and the front and rear badges. It's absolutely lush, it looks really, really cool. And then we also offer a large big brake kit. There aren't very many, so I painted the calipers yellow, but we do a, a big forge kit, but I'm keeping those for customers' vans at the moment. Um, stock is a real problem in our industry um, and getting the parts is becoming really challenging. But it's okay, we're still managing to build the vans. Um, Remo awning rail, which is absolutely awesome. And then a carbon fiber bled TTR um, rear spoiler. And that's our van, that's our demo van. Um, she's absolutely lush, we're super proud. I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around and um, it doesn't feel like I've just been jabbing for ages. There's our TTR seats, which obviously there is a video link Jordan up there or down there, just there's a link somewhere. Jordan will make that happen. And you can see Tom and I sporting the new merchandise um, and our new TTRC seat. Yeah, really proud of this one. It's lush. She's here. She's always going to be here. She's going to be here for another 10 months. So please do come, have a go, play with the air ride, take it for a drive. Um, have a look at the quality, the fit, the finish. All the boys will be more than happy to tell you about everything that they've done. Everyone's worked on this van. It's been a real team effort. We're super proud and we can't wait to show it off to you. And it's been an honor to show you around it. Over and out.